Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Options Learning Center. My name is Rick Orford. I've been a stock and options trader since 1999. And today, I'm excited to show you how to buy bear put spreads and use bar chart to get the most out of the strategy. A bear put spread, also known as a put debit spread, is a vertical spread strategy that involves purchasing, a put option that is close to or at the money, while simultaneously selling a put option with a lower strike price on the same underlying asset and expiration date. The result is a net debit, or an amount that you have to pay to enter the trade. The goal of buying a bear put spread is for the underlying assets price to decline below the short put strike price so both options expire in the money. If that happens, investors can then close out the trade and collect a profit. Put debit spreads are used when an investor wants to reduce the costs of buying a long put while participating in the decline of an underlying security. Also, maximum loss is limited to the net debit paid. The maximum profit for a bear put is the difference between the two strike prices, also known as the width of the spread minus the debit paid. Let's have a look at bar chart to find potential put debit spreads. So let's say you think the overall market will go down a bit in the next month or so, but you don't have a specific asset in mind to use for a bear put spread. With bar chart, you can screen the stock market for potential bear put trades on all underlying securities. If you aren't already there, go to barchart.com, click on options at the top, then select bear put spread. The first thing you'll see is a results page where you can immediately look through some likely candidates where you can apply the bear put spread strategy along with other important information like bid ask prices, trade leg details, max profit and losses, and ITM probabilities. For a bear put spread, leg one is the long put, while leg two is the short put with the lower strike. Now let's talk about how to customize your results. The set filter tab is visible from the results page. Clicking on it, it will bring you to the options screener page where you can add or remove filters to customize your search according to your preferences. The bear put screener has several default filters. It's a good idea to leave the default filters and add what you need. I usually trade options that expire at least a month or two away. That way, I have time to adjust my trades if necessary to avoid or mitigate losses. So I'll leave days to expiration between 60 and 150 days, then click on monthly and weekly expirations to have as many choices as possible. Then I'll click on the ETF checkbox under security type so that ETFs will also be included in the results. Next, since we want the long put or leg one close to or at the money, I'll change the moneyness on leg one to be negative 25% to 5% from the underlying's current trading price. So to recap, this screen looks for bear put spreads on stocks and ETFs that expire 60 to 150 days from now with a long put that's negative 25% to 5% away from the current trading price. You could also enter something into the ITM probabilities, but since it'll be on the results page, I can sort for them then. Okay, I'm going to click on see results to see the potential trades that fit this criteria. So here's the results. As you can see, most of these have little chance of expiring in the money. So I'm going to click on the ITM probability column to sort from highest to lowest chances. And here we go. Now, there's a lot of ETFs available, but in particular for this one, I like Meta. 
For context, at the time of recording, the stock currently trades at $469.15. So for this trade, the long put strike is $485, for which you'll pay $39.85. The short put strike will be $480, and you'll receive $36.60, making a net debit of $3.25 per share, or $325 per contract. The trade also has a 55.18% chance of expiring ITM, or in the money, decent odds, and it'll expire on September 20th, 2024. Plenty of time to adjust if things don't go to plan. By the way, you can also click on Save Screener at the top right of the screen to save your custom scans for other bear put trades, and even have bar chart email you a list of trades that match the filters. Now that we have our details, let's see how this trade could go. So let's say it's expiration day, and Meta stock is now trading at $470, below the $480 short strike price. This means you'll get the maximum profit for the trade. To calculate the maximum profit, take the difference between the width of the spread and the net debit. For this example, that's $1.75 a share, or $175. On the other hand, if Meta trades above the long strike price at expiration, say $490, well, in this case, you'll hit the maximum loss condition. The maximum loss is simply what you paid for the trade, or the net debit, calculated by subtracting the premium received from the premium paid. Again, for this trade, that's $3.25, or $325 per contract. Now, let's have a look at what the profit and losses could look like based on the underlying trading prices. First, you'll want to know the trade's break-even point to better understand how it goes across the different price points. To get the break-even point on a bear put spread, take the long put strike price and subtract the net debit paid to get the break-even point. So that's $481.75. Since bear put spreads have defined profit and loss potentials, the profit and losses do not exceed $175 and $325. As you can see, as Meta's price rises above the break-even point, losses start to incur, and anything above $485 means a maximum loss of $325. However, if Meta does as you expect and stays below $480, then you get to keep $175 profit. You can also screen for bear put spreads using specific assets by going to the stock's profile page on barchart.com, and then navigate to the left-hand links, select vertical spreads, and click on the bear put tab. Once there, you'll again be brought to a results page with all the usual details, plus a few additional functionalities. For example, you can change which trades are displayed based on the strike prices. To do that, Go to the Show Only drop-down and select from Leg 1, which is the Long Put Strike, or Leg 2, the Short Put Strike. Then, indicate the price you'd like in the Strike field and click Apply. You can also change the expiration date by clicking on the Expiration drop-down. To further customize your trade, click on Screen at the top right of the Results box and click on Set Filter and then add filters or change the values for whichever filter you prefer. Once done, click on See Results. It's that simple. Now, there's one important thing to note. When you sell an option, there's always the risk of assignment. Options are usually exercised at expiration, giving you time to close out your trade at a profit or loss. However, there is a risk of early assignment. With American-style options, assignment can happen at any time. And since you want the debit spread to end up in the money, that means there's an elevated risk that you may be assigned on the trade.
If you happen to get assigned on your put debit spread, that means you'll end up buying 100 shares of Meta for $480 a piece. However, here's the key. You'll then be able to sell your shares by exercising your long put option. That means you'll sell your shares at the $485 long strike price for a difference of $5, that's your spread width and your gross profit. Of course, you did pay $3.25 to get into the trade, that makes your net profit $1.75 a share. Bear puts have several advantages over other trades. First, your risk is limited to the amount you pay to set up the trade. It's also more affordable than buying a long put alone, since the premium received from the short put will offset some of the costs of buying the long put, making it perfect to use for small trading accounts. Lastly, you'll also know the maximum profit potential and loss for the entire trade right away, with no nasty surprises that could happen, and that makes it excellent for risk management. However, bear puts do have some disadvantages. Protection costs something in trading, and this is no exception. In exchange for limited losses, you also have limited profits. Furthermore, the underlying assets price must be below the short strike price at expiration to hit the maximum profit condition. Otherwise, you could end up with a loss. Bear puts are also more complex than single leg trades, making them harder for new traders to manage. While bear puts offer a balanced risk reward profile with known maximum gains and losses, it requires accurate prediction of the underlying assets movement and careful management to achieve optimal results. Never trade blind and always use tools and resources like the bar chart option screener for optimal results.